Good morning, UT kids. It's great that you could join us again for another week online. So today, we're continuing on our new series on the I Ams of Jesus. So these were moments in the Bible when Jesus said, I am something. And these were moments when Jesus was just telling us a little bit about who he is. And sometimes they weren't as straightforward as we might have thought. Some of them were a wee bit weird, but today's one hopefully is a wee bit simple. He used illustrations. He loved to use illustrations to help us try and understand things. And it just makes us look a wee bit more in depth to try and figure out what he meant. And so today we're looking in John chapter eight, and it says this, so Jesus is saying, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. That's in John chapter eight, verse 12. And we're gonna look a wee bit at that later on. But before we do, why not get up on your feet and we're gonna worship together. Your love is wild for me. Wild for me, your love is wild for me You gave it all for me Now I believe your love is wild for me
Welcome back. So we are talking about another I am that Jesus said. And as I read earlier, I'm going to read again in John chapter 8 verse 12. So if you have your Bible, you can open it up and read. So in the Bible, in John chapter 8 verse 12, it says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in the darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. So that was Jesus saying another statement about I am. And he was saying, I am the light of the world. Now, you may be thinking, what exactly does that mean? What does that verse in the Bible mean? Well, what I want to ask you first is, are you scared of the dark? I know I am. And I'm sure we all have experience in being in darkness. Um, who turned the lights off? So, turn the lights back. Thank you. Don't know what happened there. But we don't like the darkness. We prefer when it's light because we can see things. So, just the other night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was really thirsty. So I thought, I'm going to go get myself a drink. But it was completely dark. So I got out of bed and I thought, I'm not going to turn the lights on because I'll maybe wake Danielle and that would not be good. So I was trying to find my way out of the bedroom and I was, I was trying to find where I was. I couldn't see anything and oh, I kicked the side of the bed. Oh, my toe, that was really sore. And I settled myself. I was like, I'm okay. And so I was trying to find my way out again. And now I didn't see a cable on the ground. And oh, I tripped on the cable. This was not going well. And it was all because I was in the dark and I couldn't see. I couldn't see where I was going, where anything was. And I really hurt myself. And when Jesus is saying this in the Bible, what he's saying, like I said earlier, Jesus used illustrations and he was using the illustration of darkness as our sin. And sin is all the wrong things that we do, all the things that disobey God and our sin separates us from God and our sin can really hurt us. But what Jesus is saying is that there's a way out of that because he is the light. So when you're walking around the bedroom in the middle of the night and you can't see anything, all you have to do is flick the light on and you can see everything. You can see everything around you. You can see the things that are gonna hurt you. You can see the things that you have to avoid because there is something putting you in the right direction. And this is what Jesus is saying right here. Jesus is saying that he is the light. He is the thing that shows us everything around. He's the thing that shows us all the wrong things that are out there that we could be doing, all the things that could hurt us, all the sin. And he is saying that he is pointing us to God. He is pointing us in a better way to live. And so we can come to him and we can ask him to be the light in our lives. We can come and ask him into our heart to guide us and show us what things to avoid, what things to stay away from, and what things will point us to God. He is the light that shows us everything around us. And I hope you can remember that today. And we're going to look a wee bit more at some of the other things that Jesus said over the next couple of weeks. And I hope I haven't taken too much of your time, but I think this is really, really important to know. And so what I want to challenge you today is, are you maybe walking in a wee bit of darkness? Are you maybe not looking to Jesus the way you should? And maybe you're, you're just caught up in doing wrong things, maybe disobeying God, maybe you're disobeying your parents, maybe you're telling a few wee lies or Maybe you're hurting your brother or sister. I don't know. Maybe there's loads of things and we all do things that are wrong. But what we need to do is we need to ask Jesus to show us the light that he is and show us all the things that we, we maybe do wrong and to point us to him. 
And so I want to challenge you today. Maybe we need pointed to Jesus again. Maybe we need that light shone in our darkness. And I want to challenge you with that today. And it's been really cool to catch up with you guys again. And it's been good to get back into church, sort of, in a way. We're going to stay online for a few more weeks. Um, but that's us for another week. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We're going to catch up with you again next week and learn another I am that Jesus said. So have a good afternoon. Have a good week. See you again.